Hi folks, my name is Professor Lemon and I'm gonna be showing you around the class today in this video. So why don't we get started? All right, so our course is divided into different modules and each module will have its own due dates and assignments that you need to go over. Um, some of the assignments have kind of fixed deadlines, others are a little bit more flexible. So why don't we talk about which are uh, fixed and which are a little bit more flexible so that you can kind of plan out your weeks. So whenever we have a reading that's due, you'll notice that it has a specific deadline, a due date. Um, if you want to work ahead, that's fine. You could always read ahead and, you know, even though something isn't assigned until, let's say, the second week, uh, you could always read ahead and go over that uh, even though it's not due. Um, if you things get behind and, and you need to do a reading a little bit later than it is scheduled, uh, that that shouldn't be too much of an issue. But the there was thought uh, the thought of me kind of designing the schedule was to kind of parse out the reading so you're not too overwhelmed and that you'll be able to finish everything on time in terms of the module. Um, so those are a, a little bit more flexible. Same thing too with uh, the concept. I call them like concept content, uh, where things like here, where it says like how to make a summary, sample MLA paper, uh, how to use quotes, those sorts of things, again, are, are very much like the readings where if you want to work ahead or, you know, if you're a little overwhelmed in a week, you can maybe kind of go over them um, some other time, uh, just as, as long as you complete them before the module is over. Now, the things that aren't fixed, uh, are, are, I'm sorry, are fixed, are things like the class discussions, reading quizzes, and essays. So we're going to be doing a weekly class discussion, and that always has two components to it. Uh, the first component being the main post, and that's where you're answering whatever prompt question it, uh, we have. So our first one is getting to know you. Um, and so as you can imagine that the main post is about you and getting to know you. Um, and then the other component of that is the secondary post uh, of which there are two. And you'll be making those uh, before the week is up. Uh, pay close attention to the due dates. Uh, the main post is actually going to be due on Thursday and the secondary posts are gonna be due by Sunday, okay? And so that posting on time is part of the points and you'll see the breakdown in the syllabus in terms of um, how I'm breaking down the points uh, for the class discussions, uh, but just timeliness is part of it, okay? So um, even though the due date is always gonna say Sunday, Theoretically, uh, your, your main post is actually due on Thursday. I know it sounds a little confusing, but I think we'll get used to it after the first week or so. Uh, the next thing uh, is the essays. Um, and, you know, like I said, those are kind of a fixed deadline type of thing. Um, if you ever miss any work uh, within a, a module, um, please let me know if you'd like to make it up and we can try to work something out. You know, even though these things are fixed, um, you know, life, life happens. <laughs> and so um, I'm always happy to kind of work with you. Um, all right, so that's that. And I, I think it's pretty straightforward in terms of the modules. Uh, but if you do have any other questions, of course, let me know. Now, when we look at the file sections of class, basically everything you need in terms of the class is gonna be in the modules. Uh, so like I, I link to all the readings and things of that nature, but um, I also have them stored here in the file section of class under the different units. And so I also have some like bonus material, uh, sample essays and things like this. Um, and uh, yeah, so stuff that you might wanna take a look at. Um, but like I said, all the important stuff is in the modules in terms of you know, readings and concepts. Uh, but I did put some extra stuff in here too if you wanna take a look at it. The last thing I wanna show you is the syllabus. And obviously this talks about the class and you know, 
different, uh, you know, sort of grading breakdowns. And obviously the grading uh, grade book will show you that as well. Um, uh, I also have an about me section. Um, I, I've taught at Santa Monica uh, starting in 2009 um, and took a, some time off and now I'm back for a little bit. Um, and so if you're curious about me and my, my family, as you can see here, you could uh, read about that there. Um, since we will not be doing Zooms, uh, necessarily, unless you, unless you want to, you my children will not photo bomb uh, or zoom bomb any of uh, our, our our weekly videos that I'm making. However, you might hear one screaming through the walls, um, uh, and yeah, <laughs> that's just what happens when you have two kids uh, who are also doing Zoom schools. Um, all right, well, I think that that's that. I, don't, I wanna keep this kind of short and to the point. Um, I Hopefully you can find this course very approachable and me approachable as well. Um, if you, I know I, having taught online for many years that it can feel a little dis, feeling disconnected from your peers and myself sometimes um, because it's a lot of one-sided interaction where maybe if I'm making videos, you're hearing me talk about things, but there's not a lot of di there's no dialogue, right? And so if you ever need anything from me, I, I will be happy to go over the materials with you like via email, or we could do a Zoom call if that's uh, something that you'd like to do as well. Uh, I just wanna make sure that you're successful in the course. And if there's anything I could do to help you in uh, achieving that success, please let me know. All right, thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I can't wait to talk to you in the course. Bye.